Danny seemed to be uh, finding a nice partnership back there. Uh, how did it feel today? And, and uh, did it feel like this was a bigger challenge than, than you faced previously? Yeah, I mean, Austin, they're second in the league. Going into it, obviously, we had a lot of preparation to seeing the differences between them and Houston. Uh, but, you know, me and Danny have been together for four or five years now. We put a lot of games in the midfield together. So, um, you know, just took some time for us to be able to mesh at this level and um, I think the last two games we've, we've done well together, um, kind of stepped it up when we needed to, so um, yeah. Did you feel like you were playing through, I mean it, from our perspective it looked like you guys were able to play through their press relatively, I mean not easily, but you, you were effective. Yeah, yeah we, um, we spent a lot of time reviewing film and going through it and training, walking through how they're going to press. Um, you know, the coaches did a great job preparing us for um, what we were going to face today and, you know, they played exactly how we thought they were going to play. So, you know, I think we did a pretty good job getting um, getting through that, that front four. Um, and then obviously our, our attack is, you know, with those guys up, up front is unreal. So once we get the ball to them, you know, they are capable of scoring three goals like that. What's a game like this do for your confidence? It helps, yeah, team-wise, personal-wise. I mean, beating the, you know, second place team in, in the league when we're trying to have this push towards the end of the season, you know, a team that if we're, you know, fortunate and do well enough to get into playoffs that we might face first round. Um, it, it helps confidence-wise a lot for the for the team going into it, knowing knowing that we can, you know, beat any team in the league. You know, we beat the second place team 3-0. So, one of the keys coming in in the press was for you guys to be able to find the pockets. How were you able to do that? Yeah, like I said, we uh, we we prepared it a lot. Um, whether it was me or Danny going into the half space between Yamar and Alex, or if it was us um, staying staying behind that line in front of um, the the two strikers who were pressing, um, you know, I think the center backs and the full backs did a great job of finding us in, in spots like that, and you know. Danny and I, you know, we're finding the spots that we were trying to find. So, so is there a familiarity that's coming along then for you, for you to, to be able to do that now? Definitely, yeah, yeah. I mean, once once we decided that that's the route we're going to go, and me and Danny are going to start the last couple of games, we get a lot of lot more emphasis, emphasis training, training those like build out patterns and those those tactics and training. So uh, having the last couple of weeks to train those things in has been really helpful. Transition is important in this game, you're playing offense and defense. You just talk about how defense is also important that they come back and play defense. How important was that another you know, shout out? Oh it's big. I mean with with our attacking talent we're gonna score goals. Um, and if we can keep shutouts like that we're gonna we're gonna win games. Um, so to to keep the Team from the other team from scoring is is, is massive. It, it, that's how we're going to win games is is defensively because the guys up, up top are going to do their job and find goals. You know, we've heard a lot of stories about you and Danny sort of really going at it in training. Um, you have a lot of familiarity with each other. You've kind of, I mean, almost literally grown up together. Um, what? How would you describe your relationship and and what some of those battles are like in training? You know, it's interesting. Um, one of your really good friends and you are fighting for the same spot. Um, you know, I don't think I've ever like had moments where I've I've been rooting for him to play bad, which I think is like a good thing. And I, I really appreciate having a guy like that to, to challenge me. I think we make each other better. Um, but you know, he's he's one of my good friends. So you know, I'm I'm always rooting for him to play really well. And I think these last two games he's played awesome. I mean, do you guys? I mean, you guys hang out outside of playing and whatnot? Yeah, yeah. All the young guys, you know, have have like days. Hang out, hang out, go to lunch, do stuff. I'm guessing though, you get, you must have sort of imagined days like this, right? Like where you guys were both. I know you've mostly been competing against each other, but the idea of you playing together in front of a big crowd against a, a good team must have been uh, something you guys <laughs> thought about, right? Oh, f for sure. That's something they they kind of train into us when we're coming through the academy. They're like, look, like you guys are the the future of this club, and you know if we could have a full roster of home, homegrown players um, performing in the MLS, like that would be a dream come true for the academy. So they're, you know, from the time we're 14, they're like, look, like one day it could be you guys. So we, we've, we've been dreaming of it for a long time. With 
being there only four games left in the season, I'm sure a lot of these games now feel like must wins as you go uh, the rest of the way. How do you manage that pressure, those expectations, uh, to continue getting results on the field? We take it one game at a time. I mean, we, we one good performance can build into many, many other good performances. And I think these these last two weeks, we've we've shown really well. We've shown resiliency. We've shown that we can we we can beat any team that we come across. Um, so you know, getting that confidence last week, getting that confidence this week is is gonna propel us to the next game, and we're gonna go in confident against Vancouver. Thanks, Josh. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Thanks.